Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon. It feels like it feels like Sunday. Uh, uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, can I get a little thanks? Uh, thank you um, for being here today. Um, for some of you McFarland alumni, uh, you're going to agree that the cabaret has really evolved. And some of you McFarland alumni are going to can appreciate uh, that back in the day, in this very space, it was a two night high production, lots of planned choir medleys. That was cabaret. Um, my predecessor brought his own traditions from his own high school experiences, and the cabaret became a four hour long brunch in the cafeteria. That was a common leave as you, as you will. That was a very different looking cabaret. Um, with my arrival, uh, the cabaret has continued to evolve into what I really appreciate as um, a production that provides as much student voice as possible. So I really feel like if students are picking the music, and this, is, I, this really just needs to look how the students want it to look, and that's kind of my compass. Um, which brings us to the overriding thought process shared by me as parent. Why is it in this space? We have this beautiful PAC next door. Why is it in this space? So um, in lots of conversations with students and lots of conversations with stakeholders about the different performing spaces we have here at McFarland, I want you just to kind of appreciate a couple things from a sports metaphor. Um, it, as, as Ethan, our house supervisor, is looking for additional seats for people, which we love. Um, thank you, Ethan. Uh, we, uh, if you think like, uh, who are my soccer people, soccer hands? Yeah, the, the soccer parents and or watchers of soccer, right, or football, uh, indoor versus outdoor, soccer, those are different things. If you've played, you really know, right, this is, it's played entirely different, and yet it's still both soccer, but one would not be played where the other is and vice versa. They're different things. So to bring that a little more closer to what we're doing this afternoon, a show at the Cole Center looks and feels very different than a show at the Majestic Theater, both for the performer and the audience. And I think our students really started to pick up on that, and they really appreciated some of the intimacy that this venue has to offer. Also, they wanted you to be able to eat concessions. <laughs> but there, we can all agree with nods of heads, both great, but different. Both great, but different. Different for performers and different for the audience. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, which brings us to my last point, uh, the ability for us to continue to use this event as a fundraiser, uh, as a fundraising effort for what we do in the choir portion of the music program. Uh, the boosters are helping us with that. They're raising money for new platform risers. Uh, those are similar to what people are sitting on at the back center of the audience, uh, but we're looking for another set, but more versatile uh, and more of them and like Lighter. <laughs> They're so heavy. Uh, but if you can appreciate what those do for seating in this space and or for staging, because this wouldn't exist if we didn't have leftover lumber from Cinderella, which is exactly what this stage is made out of. Um, which, if we do a Cinderella and we have that lumber, that's great. But if we don't, then we're in a little bit of a pickle if we want to do something like this. So the money from today, your ticket revenue actually goes to support and subsidize our annual choir retreat, which happens in the fall. Uh, we go out to Dodgeville to a beautiful retreat center there and really kick off the choir year great in a great way. And concessions will go to help the music boosters help our students. So thank you all for being here, for supporting us with your presence and your applause and your smiles and, and your laughter and uh, your dollars. And we uh, now would like to invite you to enjoy. Now, that's what I call cabaret. Hi there, folks, and welcome to Now That's What I Call Cabaret, Volume 23. I'm Dr. Ellis Roberts, PhD. And I'm head scientist here at Cabaret Incorporated. We have a wonderful show for you, and I'd love to introduce my wonderful team, starting with I'm our friend's archaeologist. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Next up we have Chloe Bestin, environmental scientist. This is my sister. Sophia Bestin, psychologist. And next up we have the one, the only. <clears throat> next up we have, oh, Maya Miller, computer scientist. She practices <laughs> so many times. Next up, our favorite chemist. Hi. 
I'm William Harrison. This is Mr. Phillips. And we're chemists. I don't yeah. know, do some cool chemistry stuff, Spencer. Oh, um, cool. Let's get cooking. Woo! <laughs> and last but not least, the only person holding this place together, our favorite manager, Maddie Lewis. That was a very cute intro, but we have big, bigger things to worry about. I just went through our annual budget, and we have zero dollars in funds! <coughs> that can't be. We invented stuff for the grant, right? Right, guys? Oh, we invented the Dingle Hopper. <coughs> I think we all try and forget about the Dingle Hopper. This is obscene. We can't make new inventions if we have no money. Well, we have no money because we don't have new inventions. You have a point, but still, what are we going to do? Well, guys, we always have this. No! I swear to Pickletons, do not touch me. Erm, um, for the sake of the space-time continuum, Rowan, please do not press that button. I'm not going to press the button. What do you think I am, an idiot? <laughs> I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me when you hold me in your arms so tight. You let me know everything's all right. You're in love with me Lips as sweet as candy The taste stays on my mind Girl, you got me thirsting For another cup of wine Got it bad for you, girl But I don't need a cure I'll just stay addicted and I'll buy can endure all the good love when we're all alone. Keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. High. I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. When you hold me in your arms so tight, you let me know everything's all right. I'm, I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. Love with me.
some might say we're released, pushing daisies deceased. But we all know the worms must be fed. There's just one lingering fear. Oh, my soul, is it here or is it rotting somewhere with my head? Oh, my soul. of the street and like an old forgotten tune a song that no one knows forgot how it goes just join in me forever eternally Jane Doe Why is it called Back to the Future anyway? Yeah. Aren't they 
I don't let you touch any of our old inventions? How was I supposed to know this one would send us back in time? Whatever. Where are we anyways? Haven't you seen the low-rise jeans? <laughs> <laughs> We're in the early 2000s, aren't we? Yep. <sighs> are, are we even born yet? Oh, no, hey, wait, Rowan, Rowan. <laughs> we don't even exist yet. Yeah, okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You're not real, I'm not real, nothing is real! <laughs> this is gonna destroy the space-time continuum. Rowan, don't try and find your parents! <laughs> Next up, we have Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish, performed by Pitch Please. Inside those ocean eyes, your ocean eyes. No fair. You really know how to make me cry when you give me those ocean eyes. I'm scared. I've never fallen from quite this high, fallen into your ocean. I've been walking through a world gone blind Can't stop thinking of your diamond mind Careful creature, make friends with time. He left her lonely with a diamond mind and those ocean eyes. No fair. You really know how to make me cry when you give me those ocean eyes. I'm scared. Fallen from quite this high, fallen into your ocean eyes. Those ocean eyes. Make me cry, give me those ocean eyes. No fair. You really know how to make me cry when you give me those. Scared. I've never fallen from quite this high, fallen into your ocean eyes, those ocean eyes. Guess mine's not the first heartbroken 
My eyes are not the first to cry. Just so you know, there's just no getting over you. Can't you see there's nothing else for me to do? I'm hopelessly devoted to you. But now there's nowhere to hide since you push my
I abuse her or show her disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me?
since I reached the charming age of puberty, I began to finger feminine curls like a show that's typically Schuberty. I have always had a multitude of girls. But now that a married man at last am I, how aware of my dear departed past am I? Where is the life that late I led? Where is it now? Totally dead. Where is the fun I used to find? Where is it gone? Gone with the wind. A married life may all be well, but raising an heir could never compare with raising a bit of hell. So I repeat what first I said. Where is the life that late I in dear Milano? Where are you, Momo? Still selling those pictures of the scriptures in the Duomo. And Carolina, where are you, Lina? Still petting your pizza in the streets of Taormina. And in Firenze, where are you, Alice? Still there in your itty bitty pity pretty palace And sweet Lucretia So young and gay What scandalous doings in the ruins of Pompeii Where is the life that late I led? Where is it now? Totally dead the fun I used to find. Where is it gone? Gone with the wind. The marriage game is quite all right. Yes, during the day it's easy to play, but oh, it's a bore at night. So I repeat what first I said. Where is the life that late I? Where is Rebecca? My Becky Wecchio Could still she be cruising that amusing Ponte Vecchio? Where is Fedora, the wild virago? It's lucky I missed a gangster sister from Chicago. Where is Venezia, who loved to chat so? Could still she be drinking in her stinking pink palazzo? And lovely Lisa, where are you, Lisa? You gave a new meaning to the leaning tower of Pisa. <sighs> where is the life that late I led? Where is it now? Totally dead. Where is the fun I used to find? Where is it gone? Gone with the wind! I've oft been told of nuptial bliss, but what do you do? A quarter to two, with only a shrew to kiss. So I repeat what first I said. Where is the life that lived?
Next up, we have Vienna performed by the a cappella group, The Blue Notes. Slow down, you crazy child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile. But then if you're so smart, tell me why are you still so afraid? Mm -hmm. Where's the fire? What's the hurry about? You better cool it off before you burn it out. You got so much to do and only so many hours in a day. Hey, but you know that when the truth is told That you can get what you want Or you can just get old You're gonna kick off before you even get halfway through Ooh, and will you realize Vienna waits for you Slow down, you're doing fine You can be everything you want to be before your time Although you're so romantic on the borderline Tonight, tonight Too bad, but it's the life you lead You're so ahead of yourself that you forgot what you need So you can see when you're wrong You know you can't always see when you're right you're right You've got your passion, you've got your pride But don't you know that only fools are satisfied Dream on, but don't imagine they'll all come true Ooh, and will you realize Vienna waits for you It's all right, you can't afford to lose a day or two, or two. Why don't you realize Vienna waits for you? Do you know that when the truth is told that you can get what you want or you can just get old, you're gonna kick off before you even get halfway through. Why don't you realize Vienna waits for you? When will you realize Vienna waits for you? She take the world off my shoulders if it was ever hard to move. She turned the rain to a rainbow when I was living in the blue. Why then if she's so perfect, do I still wish that it was you? Perfect don't mean that it's work. So what can I do when you're out of sight? In my mind, 
Cause sometimes I look in her eyes And that's where I find a glimpse of us And I try to fall for her touch But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine and said I move on I'm only here passing time in her arms Hoping I'll find a glimpse of us Tell me, savers your glory Does he laugh the way I did? Is this the part of your story One that I had never lived Maybe one day you'll feel lonely Slipping slowly and find me again when you're out of sight in my mind. Cause sometimes I look in her eyes, and that's where I find a glimpse of us. And I try to fall for her touch, but I'm thinking of the way it was. Said I'm fine and said I moved on. I'm only here passing time in her arms, hoping I'll find a glimpse of us.
I could find the whole meaning of life in those sad eyes They've seen things that you never quite say but I hear Come out of hiding, I'm right here beside you And I'll stay there as long as you let me Because you matter to me Simple and plain and not much to ask from somebody
God. Take that. Maya, I thought you were better than this. I am. I just almost lost all of my snap streaks. <laughs> all right, just got back. Hashtag time travel. But wait, we're good. how did we actually get back? Guys, I think it was the power of friendship that brought us all together. That's Our so bond as a team brought us back to the present day. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I just had this sponge in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> Are you? Are you kidding me? What? We were just having such a good time, having a ball, don't want to stop at all, you know? You put the space-time continuum at risk because we were singing show tips. Well, yeah, that was so fun. Spencer, you killed that so I well. I did. Bond. Hey, hey, Rowan? Yeah? You're fired. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I lied on my resume, by the way. <laughs> Yes, cook. We don't have to cook anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to publish our findings. Yeah! yeah.